Cutscene. This is Lucinda Carlisle reporting live from just outside the Metro Precinct Police Station, and I bring you today a senseless and tragic display of technology gone wrong. In the carnage you see behind me, medical drones are digging through the rubble of a crashed shuttle for the remains of over 100 people who lost their lives today in an accident. That could and should have been prevented. Only hours ago, a brave new World Airlines shuttle, carrying starry-eyed colonists to the Metro Tower, experienced an engine failure. And came roaring down on this street without warning, crushing three cars and burying nine innocent pedestrians and two would-be carjackers. The cause of this human tragedy? As of yet, there is no official report. We can only speculate, and speculate we will. Was the pilot drunk? Was he hopped up on Amethyn? Was someone aboard carrying a bomb? Did the manufacturers of the shuttle, Monster Limited, skimp on a part and import it from a bootleg factory in Germany? The truth could be any or all of the above. But whoever is responsible, and whatever the punishment, it won't bring any of those bloodied, mangled corpses to life. It won't bring Teresa Roseman, mother of three, back to her husband, Marty. That loss is forever, and a huge cash settlement can only ease the pain. It can never remove it altogether. Only expensive brain surgery or personality modification through proprietary drugs can do that. The exact death count is still under wraps and work will continue throughout the day to identify the thousands of body parts that are being picked one by one from the twisted wreckage of BMWA Shuttle 709. What repercussions will this accident have on our city? Probably none. You fly a shuttle, you take your chances. This is Lucinda Carlisle, reporting live for the Metro Channel Action News. Back to you, Lisa and Dan. Are we clear? How did I do? Uh-huh. And what are the ratings? Five million? That's it? Five million? Jesus, we've lost out to reruns of Gillian's Island? What the fuck, Gregory? Why the hell did you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give me any of that shit. You were the one who said this would broaden my audience. I, I, I should have stuck with the game shows. Jesus! Okay. That looks uh, like a very good news report. I especially like the, speculate, uh, the random speculation part, because that is in essence what people do after a plane crash or anything, before there's any real data. News stations gotta talk about something, even when they don't know anything. Okay, it's exaggerated here, but <laughs> it is uh, basically true. There's this police station, but let's uh, take a look at this uh, crash shuttle, which has a blinking device on it, and a laser fence around it. Let's talk to this cop standing in front of it. It's a police officer. He's guarding the wreckage. Mission five. Move along. There is nothing to see here. Nothing? Except for that crashed hovercraft. Except for that crashed hovercraft? Nah. You see those everywhere these days. Okay. Sorry? Dime a dozen. Crashed hovercraft are a dime a dozen? Fifteen a week, ma'am. At the very least. In this city alone. But they say it's the safest mode of transportation available. Statistically, yes. Unless you're aboard one of the buggers, then your chance of survival drops drastically. What? They're the safest mode of transportation if you stay on the ground. The chances of being hit by one going down are relatively low. Thanks for ruining my trust in modern technology. We're here to protect and serve. Isn't it the other way around? Just keep it moving, ma'am. Nothing to see here. Okay, so apparently shuttles are the safest mode of transportation as long as you're not in them. That's an interesting way to look at it. 
Except for you, officer. Eh? Me? I always did love a man in a uniform. Yeah, like he's gonna fall Sorry, for that. Sorry, man, but I'm gay. Now, move along. Nothing to see here. <coughs> Except for the escaped convict right behind you. I'm on special duty today, ma'am. So that escaped convict will have to take care of himself. After all, who'd guard this perimeter in my absence? Uh, me? I'll be good. That was a rhetorical question, ma'am. You are not qualified. Now, move along. Nothing to see here. Except... I won't tell you again, so move along. There is absolutely nothing to see here. Nothing. Jeez, don't you people have anything better to do? <coughs> Are you feeling all right, officer? Thank you, ma'am. I'm fine. All the dust from the debris is just choking me up. <coughs> okay. He's not moving. At this point, we don't really know why we need him to move anyway. I mean, there's a blinking device here, so... Quite likely that's something we'll need at some point in the future. But, not right now. Let's look at it anyway. If I'm not completely mistaken, and if I remember my tech classes correctly, that's an anti-gravity control unit. It looks fully intact. Mm -hmm. Could be a useful thing. I can't pass through the fence without setting off the alarm. Or worse, getting fried by that military-grade laser. And that would be a bad thing, I guess. It's a high-voltage laser perimeter fence. The color indicates that they're using military-grade lasers. If it's a laser, then how the hell can you see it? Well, judging by the coughing uh, cop, there may be a lot of dust in the air, so that's why you can see it. But even then, I still don't see why a blue laser would indicate military-grade technology. Oh well, I'm overanalyzing this. Okay, well, um, very interesting and all, this crashed shuttle, but we were trying to get into the police station. It's not currently apparent that we'll need to do anything with this hovercraft to do that. So let's try and head to the entrance. Oh, it's an interesting gla graphical glitch there. The, uh... Garbage truck showed up. Doors are closed. Okay. Doesn't look like we can open them. Newport Police Department. It's a holographic sign. Fancy. Um well, I want to talk to this uh, police officer who's apparently guarding the entrance. Maybe he can tell us uh, how to get inside. Because it's police uh, office, so I suppose there should be some way to get inside. But we'll do that in the next video.